congressional district. The district reaches from Austin down to San Antonio and into the Hill Country. Republican Lamar Smith has held the district for more than three decades, but he's retiring. Now 18 Republicans and four Democrats are fighting to take his place. Our Phil Prezen is live in South Austin, where one candidate is celebrating the results. Phil? It is not about the election. It is not about the results. It is about what they've done, and I couldn't be more proud as your Well, Cindy, we're today. live at the Joseph so Kopser watch party. Much, Here he is behind me, just time. speaking to his supporters. Thank his family and all of the people in the crowd who came out and volunteered with him throughout this election. Now, this district is changing so fast, and the race is a historic opportunity for a new person to go to D.C., but so far, the same old factor of money has been the key determiner. The leaders tonight have raised the most money out of the 22 candidates. For the Republicans, Chip Roy and William Negley. For the Democrats, Joseph Kopser. Now, former Governor Rick Perry and Senator Ted Cruz in the past have hired Chip Roy as a top-level staffer. Those statewide leaders endorsed him in this race, along with other limited government groups. The Republicans had 18 people run, so they need endorsements to get their names out there. Voters to know Cruz and Perry and their support helped Roy. But getting those large number of endorsements, what that tells you is, is that I'm my own guy, but that, that those large number of folks are supporting me because they know that they can count on me to work side by side with them in the trenches. Now, former CIA agent William Negley pumped in a lot of money at the end of this race, and he's currently in the number two spot. But Joseph Kopser is in the lead tonight in the first place, and I'm at his party. Here he is thanking his supporters after his speech. He raised the most money by far with more than half a million dollars. He's leading Mary Wilson, Derek Crow, and er Elliot McFadden. Those other three teamed up on Kopser for not being liberal enough in his outreach to voters. Kopser says his way is the only way to win in November. We're trying to think that we can include the independents and, and Republicans in what we're trying to do, but I believe that being inclusive in not, not only ideology, but in terms of party is how we move forward as a country. Now this, this district still will likely go Republican in November, but Kopser, his supporters, and then also a lot of Democrats are optimistic with the high turnout numbers they've seen already this year. Live in South Austin, Phil Frazen, KXAN News. All right.